Veterinary equipment. Stethoscopes. Get stethoscopes are used to hit the body into the body cavities without being invasive. These are used when in initial examinations as well as throughout um, monitoring of any animals. Stethoscopes with long tubes are preferred within the animal within veterinary practice as animals can become scared and harm themselves or others within the area and this allows for the vent the face to be further away from the animal's vicinity. When using a stethoscope, a veterinary surgeon or nurse has to, has to determine what size of stethoscope to choose that is best to meet the animal needs, such as infant models for young or exotic, or a pediatric model for medium-sized species. Pulse oximeter. Pulse oximeter measures the percentage of hemoglobin saturated within the blood. It is also seen as an indirect measurement of arterial oxygen levels. This will this will be used um, before and during surgery, as well as can be used after surgery to monitor oxygen levels within the blood. Concerns while using the pulse oximeter is that it can give a false low or high reading. False reading, readings can be due to motion, artifact, peripheral vasoconstriction, mucous membrane pigmentation and thick coats. High readings can be because of hemoglobin abnormalities. Capnographs measure the carbon dioxide within each stage of the respiratory cycle. Carbon dioxide levels are measured in wavelength form. The wavelength takes on a rectangular shape and any changes within the rate will be shown by the wavelength. This will be mainly used during surgery. When using a capnograph, um, they can detect a lot of different malfunction um, equipment problems. This can be while monitoring CO2 levels. This can alert staff to other complications that can occur at the endotracheal site, such as a leaking, deflated cough, kink, or obstructed tube. X-ray is a form of electromagnetic radiation. X-rays are able to pass through objects and are commonly used to pass through the body and are able to create an image. The image that is formed is, called, is formed through the process called radiograph. X-rays can be used to detect bone fractures, certain tumours, abnormal masses, pneumonia, clarification, foreign objects, dental problems and some other types of injuries. X-rays can also work with other um, rationales to help destroy cancer cells. An X-ray will be used to help determine when the animal has a fracture, to see how bad the fracture is, if there's a growth or lump on the body, or when the animal has ingested something that can be harmful. When used in the appropriate manner, X-rays can be beneficial. The benefits can outweigh the risk. However, X-rays produce ionized radiation. This radiation can be potentially harmful to humans. The risk increases the more the body is exposed to the radiation. However, the risk of developing cancer or other illnesses from radiation exposure is generally small. X-rays pose no threat to pregnant animals so long as it is not near the up abdomen or pelvis area. In these instances, an ultrasound will be used to see within these areas. Nasal esophageal stethoscope. Nasal esophageal stethoscope are used to monitor heart rate with them and the charges of the heart. It allows for accurate monitoring of cardiac rate. Normal heart rate of an anesthetized dog is between 60 to 200 beats per minute. This, there is variation diameter available for different species and it is used for basic anaesthetic monitoring. Although nasal esophageal stethoscopes can be saved when used properly, it may cause reflux esophagitis. 
esophageal stethoscope should be done carefully as to not pass through the trachea by accident. While the tube is soft and flexible, care should be taken when inserting a fragile area into the fragile area of the esophagus. While there may be the presence of a heartbeat, it does not guarantee circulation, so the esophageal stethoscope must be used with other cardiovascular, uh, cardiovascular systems. Hot water bottle. Hot water bottle increases the, temp the core temperature of an animal. They are generally used when an animal is in recovery to regulate temperature or when the animal is has hypothermia, hypothermia in, in order to increase the temperature at a regulated rate. When using hot water bottles, problems that can occur with the temperature of the water is it can burn animals if not covered properly or the temperature is too high. Heart rate monitors give feedback on the heart rate of the patient. This is often used within surgery when the animal is under anaesthetic. The problem that can occur with heart rate monitors is that they can sometimes not always give accurate feedback on what the heart rate of the patient is. Weighing scales. Weighing scales are used to measure the weight of an animal and they can come in various different sizes depending on the species. Weighing scales can be used in the examination of an animal as well as when checking the animal pre and post operation. Weighing scales are used when an animal comes in for a checkup. It is also used for monitoring the weight of the animal if they are under or overweight. The problem is that can occur from some scales is that for large dogs it can become a trip hazard with the scales having to be on the floor and also with certain scales it can be a slippier for the animal to stand on so it is advised to put a towel or something over the scales in order for the animal to have grip. Blood pressure monitor. The blood pressure monitor measures the blood pressure which is the rate of which the, fl the blood flows. Blood pressure is part of the standard data in t a technician should do when an animal visits. It is also commonly used during surgery to monitor anaesthetic. Common areas with blood pressure me measuring is related to the cuff selection, as cuff size plays a critical role in obtaining accurate results. Too large can falsely decrease readings and too small can falsely increase readings. Endoscope is a min minimally invasive procedure which allows for the internal body to be seen. Gastrointestinal endoscopy is the most commonly used endoscope in the veterinary practice and the endoscope can be used to investigate the main body systems. The areas of use can be during um, operations to see the inter internal body area of the animal. Disadvantages of using an endoscope is that it is necessary to anaesthetise an anaesthetise the patient. The animal will need to fast 12 hours before elective endoscopy and 20 to 48 hours before lower intestine. Complications due to endoscope um, examinations are rare, but care should be taken. The biggest limitation is the whole of the intestine cannot be examined, especially the duodenum and the ileum. The ophthalmoscope is used to inspect the front of the eye. This is the back portion of the interior eye. Direct ophthalmoscope reflects an erect image of the patient's retina. Direct ophthalmoscope is used when diagnosing optic nerve astropy or nutrius. Direct ophthalmoscope can only be done in low light to reflect clear colour image of the optic nerve. The retina can be are poorly visualised if the patient is suffering suffering with nuclear sclerosis or hazy eyes virtual for or adequate fluid. An otoscope is an industrial 
instrument that is used to examine the eardrum and the inner ear canal. This instrument has a light source and a magnifying system that at one end to better examine the ear structure. This will often be used in general check appointments of an animal. However, you should be careful during examination as it, and it's best to warn the owner as it can be painful. So it's best to be as gentle as possible while doing this examination. Bear huggers. Bear huggers are used during surgery and after to regulate the body temperature of, the, of an animal and keep and prevent hypothermia. So this equipment will be used mainly during and after surgery operations. When in surgery and after, a bear hugger should be changed in order not to cross-contaminate any bacteria that may be on from the surgery. As in human cases, um, it was shown that bear huggers infected more than 300 people, causing them to have to re go back into the hospital. Hematic reader. A hematic reader is a device that allows for red blood cell measurements. This can be assessing for anemia or reduced oxygen carrying cap um, capabilities. This is generally done before surgery or in the general practice when testing blood. Studies have shown that spun hematocrit can give a higher value due to the plasma that can be trapped between the layers. FIV, FEL, V snap test is a test that tests for feline leukemia virus. This is during examination if the cat has shown symptoms or has come into contact with a cat that may have it. In light of new disease prevalent data that and epidemiological evidence, FIV um, may need to be revised. The test cannot distinguish antibodies from those that are, that are infected through vaccination or derived from maternal antibodies. Dermatophyte tests um, are one of the easiest ways in which to identify pathogenic species. This can be done during examination. However, the test has an ideal temperature of 20 degrees Celsius with the colour change showing in only a few days compared to other temperatures which can last for more days than necessary. Digital thermometer. Digital thermometers check for the temperature of the animal. This can be done rectally, axillary or by the ear. This can be done during examinations and checkups and post pre and post surgery. Within the veterinary environment, it is generally done with rectal temperatures rectally, as that is considered the gold standard for temperature checking. However, with the rectal area, there can be rectal um, disruptions that can affect the measurements, and it also can be uncomfortable for the animal. So it's been looked into for other methods of temperature checking, such as infrared. Biochemistry blood machine is an instrument that is used to determine components within the blood. Biochemistry blood machine is used to measure the blood cell, drug monitoring, determine blood type and protein analysis, check thyroid and antibodies and can be used at home to determine glucose and cholesterol levels. Biochemistry blood testing is, com is a common test that can be done on examinations of the animals within the practice. However, not all analyzers are equal. Each type of analyzer has pros and cons depending on the methodology of use, the time it takes for the sample to run, and how often the control is performed. Infusion pump. Infusion pump is a device that delivers precise volumes of fluid over a period of time. It can be used to give a range of liquids such as antibiotics and pain medication. The pump can also be used to deliver food to patients to the stomach or intestines, as well as blood transfusions. An infusion pump will be used within the practice when administering medication, as it can give a precise measurement to the 
for the patient and animals that are unable to eat can be aided by the infusion pump. While infusion pumps are highly used within the veterinary um, practice, user error with infusion pumps have been shown to cause serious or fatal problems if not done correctly. And that's the end of this presentation as always. All references can be found on this page and the following pages as this had a long reference list and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.